Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here. Welcome back to RimWorld with Vinny, Kalik, and Heretic. Reminder, Vinny, Heretic, brothers. Completely opposite, mind you, but brothers nonetheless. Kalik seems to be the only one who's capable of doing anything, like, you know, in general. Uh, Vinny is relegated to basically cooking and growing, and he's made it very clear that nobody is to touch his gardens. Heretic, well, he's basically a rock pounder and a genius. So, uh, hopefully we get this, this bench up and running soon. It looks like he is getting the necessary materials. Wood should be on the way shortly. Speaking of wood, somebody pointed out, uh, something really interesting I didn't know. Um, these wind turbines, it'll tell you if anything is, uh, in fact blocking them. So crops and things like that are not. But if you look at this wind turbine, it's saying blocked by a poplar tree. So what we want to do is ensure that we can go ahead and chop that down. And that'll make sure that we have enough um, wind going through there. I'm not sure if the roof that we've put over top has any impact. I don't think that it does. Um, however, it's something to uh, something to be mindful of for sure. Uh, I'm gonna set a lot of this stuff to be hauled out of here eventually when they get extra time. They'll just come and dump it in this this zone over here. Uh, we do have research almost up and running, which is good. We're gonna need some defenses. Um, we're probably going to need to build some things for these guys to just be a little bit happier with um, around the base. And let's actually just go ahead and do that. Let's build some of these horseshoe pins so if they want, they can come out and play there. Uh, now that we have our research bench up and going, we want to get stone cutting, I think. Stone cutting will be nice so that we can take all these chunks that are laying around and turn them into um, blocks that can be used for construction. So then we're not just stuck with wood. Um, and now that we have a research project, we should see that Heretic comes over and starts doing this pretty much immediately. So let's see if that is in fact true. Yeah, there he goes. And we're pretty much not going to see Heretic at all. <laughs> He's just going to be in there uh, researching away um, his days, which is fine by me. Now, let's go ahead and try to get these guys a little bit of a nicer looking place, shall we? Um, we can give them each a light in their room. Uh, we should give him a light to for his studies. We could also put one in the dining room. And what we could do as well is start getting some flooring going on in here. And that should make the rooms just a little bit nicer. Uh, Temperature-wise, I think we're doing okay. It's a little bit hot, but seems fine. These guys are just, uh, they're just hanging out in here. There's not really a whole lot that I can do with them. They're not here to sell anything. Um, I guess I could shoot them if I really wanted to, but we don't need to cause any trouble between any of these um, factions right now. So we're just going to let that let that go. Um, but Kayleek, when she wakes up, she should start uh, by trying to train our cat, I guess, unless he's already done. Oh, we haven't even marked it to be trained because we can't. That's right. The trainable intelligence was actually... Zero. So we might want to consider finding something like a little bigger like this timber wolf and trying to tame it. Um, they may attack upon a failed taming chance. 2.5% chance. I don't know if that's the chance to attack or if that's going to be the... Um, I think that's the actual taming chance itself. But, um, you know, if we get a little wolf action going on, then we'd be in a pretty good spot. We do have some more steel up here, which is nice. Let's power through the night here. Uh, once she goes and does that, uh, we could have her set to hunting. We're doing okay for food, but could certainly be better. We've only got 14. Uh, we do need to set up a freezer. And I think that's going to be our next big objective building-wise. So uh, what I'll do is... How do we want to do this? Usually we want to keep this close to uh, the table so that people will go and get a fresh meal. So maybe, let's just turn this into a freezer here. And we can then throw in one of our coolers here. Once that's installed, should keep the place pretty cool. Now, uh, since it looks like it will be here for a while, Kaleek, of course Kaleek thinks this, uh, we should give the community a name, what should it be called? Uh, in honor of um, the overall goal of the colony, we are gonna call this Heisenberg. And uh, remember, we're trying to build up like this drug uh, operation, let's call it. So let's call it Heisenberg. 
you'll notice that research is actually going pretty quickly. Um, he's tired. He can't be researching all the time, but that's fine by me. He got a lot done even in his first day there. So he should be getting up soon, going to have some joy time, and then he's going to go uh, right back to work. So this is good news. Kaylee put in the floors. Did she make an attempt on this, uh, on this timber wolf? She may have. Right here. Oh, this is good. Responded to Kaylee's friendly communication. The responses are good. And then Timberwolf rejected the offer. So it's going to take a while. That's fine. Uh, in the meantime, we'll mark some of these things for hunting as well. And let's see. What do we have here? A little boom rat. Don't really want to be killing the boom rats, to be honest. Because uh, they explode, as you can imagine. So this will get us a nice little source of food going on. And how are we doing for wood? I think we're actually, we're actually fine. But uh, Heretic, he's just gonna pretty much be sitting here. And so I'll have to manage Kayleek a little bit more hands-on because uh, if we just let her go hunting forever, she's never gonna get anything built. And she's our primary builder, so. She's actually our primary kind of everything at this point. Let's see, so we've got some alerts that show up in the bottom right here. This is uh, saying that we need defenses because we're probably going to get attacked soon. So why don't we just go ahead and do this. Um, let's build some sandbags. Takes a little bit of steel to do so. Where could we get attacked from? Pretty much all around us. So what we might want to do is just set up a nice little row of sandbags on each side. And that makes us pretty defensible, actually. And maybe here what we could do is... No, we can't actually build on that. Um, you know what we could do? We could build some sandbags in here. And the reason I say that is because if they want to walk through here, it's going to be really slow for them. And we could just take up defenses in Vinny's garden. And that should be, that should be fine for us, honestly. Uh, who else is on plant cutting? So Vinny will plant cut after he's done cooking and growing. So we could go ahead and mark a few things to get done from that regard. Uh, let's go ahead and chop all the trees down in, in the general vicinity, the front of our place. Uh, we're going to want to get a tailoring bench up relatively soon as well. Oh my god. A local rat has gone mad. It will attack everybody it sees. Where is this in relation to us? Okay, so it's way up there. I, I'm, I'm hopeful. <laughs> I'm hopeful that we can handle this. Um, let's draft Vinny and Kayleek, and let's go, let's go hunt the rat, shall we? Uh, we can take cover here. Okay, so we finished stone cutting. Uh, this allows you to find rock chunks into stone blocks that can be used for construction. So this is good. Uh, the next thing we probably want to do, let's actually just pause it here, is, let's see, what would be interesting for us? Microelectronics could be good, because then we could get into building uh, turrets. I don't know that we need a passive cooler. These guys don't seem to be complaining too much about the uh, electricity right now. Uh, brewing would be good. Smithing would be decent. Drug production, obviously, but I just think we have more important things to do. Hydroponics, because I'd like to build my drug production inside the cave. I think that would be fantastic. Let's try um, microelectronics and uh, see how that goes. Now, this rat is actually gaining on us pretty quickly here. I'm just going to take get these guys covered behind the rocks. And hopefully... There we go. Take it down. Kill it! Somebody... There we go. Rat is down. Colony is safe. Now, this is like, if you're wondering, if you're like, seriously, they're going to send one rat after you? This is like early days, man. Things are going to get pretty hectic. Uh, we're going to undraft these guys. Uh, we'll count that as food as well, I guess. And uh, we should be okay. So, let's see. What is Kayleek doing right now? So, she's going to go build the sandbags for us. That's fine by me. We do have some steel left in there. Now she's praying, as she tends to do. Heretic, of course, doing, you know, he, pretty much, I should just lock him in here, honestly. I should just build, a, like, a little food storage system, and then just lock him in there, because he's never, ever gonna leave. 
Uh, soon enough, we're gonna start to harvest a lot of this. Uh, it's 71% grown, cotton is 57, rice is getting there, 82, corn still has a while to go, potatoes are halfway, and then more corn there. So that's that part's pretty good. What I wanna do is run some power through here because we're not powering everything in our house just yet. That'll do it. And then uh, that'll actually power our tailoring bench that we're gonna build out back here at some point as well. So the only thing we're gonna have to manage is our steel here. Where's our steel? Oh, we might actually be out of steel. You know what? I think we are out of steel. So when Heretic wakes up, oh, one of our batteries broke down. That ain't good. Okay, we'll repair that in the morning. It didn't explode, so that's not the end of the world. Um, but that's fine. Also, animals don't attack doors. So man-hunting animals generally won't attack doors or inactive turrets. You can escape them by getting inside or behind a wall. So we could have gotten away from the, um, from the rat by doing that if we wanted to. What I want to do here is um, let's make sure that... Let's see... Let's set Vinny to mining, I guess. We can set it as a two, so if he doesn't have cooking to do, um, he can go ahead and, and handle that. And we'll ensure that we're making some progress towards getting some of this stuff. Now, it's not counting this steel because it's not actually in our uh, stockpile. It'll get moved there eventually. But um, so far, these guys are doing pretty good. Let's just check out the needs and see where we're standing. So he's in a little bit of pain, uh, probably from his pre-existing bite scar on his head, understandable. Um, ugly environment. Well, thanks, Heretic, appreciate that. Kaleek is uh, in darkness, but not for long because uh, we just need to get power there and she'll be fine. And she's naked. I didn't even not notice this, but she is, uh, she has a t-shirt on. Kaylee's walking around sans pants. Let's see how her taming goes here. Let's keep an eye on her. And her animal skill here. Let's see. Responding to friendly communication, giving him some food. This is good. Probably gonna get rejected for a while. Tame chance failed, but you know what? I think that said 5%, which is better than that 2.5 that it started at. The chances, I, I'm guessing, go up every time we try to do it. So, um, I'm fine with that. Absolutely fine with that. Uh, let's see. Let's set Heretic to doing a little bit of mining as well. And then once it's mined, then you can do your, uh, your research. Okay, so this is now built, which is fantastic. We're gonna set the temperature down to, let's say, yeah, minus nine is probably fine. And in order to try and keep some of the cold where it should be, let's just go ahead and do this. Uh, I've got a weird situation happening with my zone, but let's just start it fresh here. And inside, we can keep everything for now um, that we were keeping before. It's just going to be cool, and that's fine. But um, the food will not spoil in there, so that's pretty helpful. And this stuff will be nice because... Um, or once we get this wolf tamed... He should be able to start helping us haul stuff. We're at a bit of a disadvantage because Kaylee kind of has to do, like, you know, everything. But uh, she's really quick. And she doesn't fail very often, so this is good. Vinny's actually harvesting now. Hello! We got a new wanderer, guys. This is awesome. So, we're going to have to expand our rooms a little bit. Um, our hunter lacks a ranged weapon, which means that this wanderer is probably set to hunting, I'm guessing. Um, but let's see who we've got. A villager named Chicken has arrived and is joining the colony. She's a human computer. Why would she not be? Just please be good at building. Please be good at building. Animals. Medicine, cooking, not really good at building. Really good at research, though. Interesting. Same as Heretic. That job's kind of taken. 
But let's read about her. So as a child, Chicken suffered from a rare disease. Uh, quarantined in a research hospital, she had minimal human contact and got physical and got little physical exercise. In the sterile host hospital environment, however, she became very familiar with science and medicine, which is actually this is not bad because Kaleek has a low medicine skill, and I think uh, Heretic has some doctoring ability, but um, she will actually learn it at an increased rate. And Vinny. Yeah, this is good. We can have her do the, the animal training. So let's go ahead and switch that right away. What do we have here? Ancient danger. As chicken draws near the ancient wall, a sense of foreboding comes over her. Or overcomes her. She isn't sure why, but she feels that this dusty structure may contain a great danger. So that must be this area. I've seen this before, but I don't actually know what that means. And uh, don't tell me, because... I think it'll be better to figure it out on our own. Let's get her set up here uh, while she wanders over. So we're gonna have her handle the taming from now on and we'll get Kaleek uh, freed up to do other things. She doesn't need to do cooking, uh, she can do hunting. And if we wanted to, um, she's not that, Kaleek at least has some passion in it. She doesn't, so we'll keep Kaleek on the hunting. Uh, she can do construction. Again, it's not ideal, but over time, she'll eventually get better at it. We'll put her on repairs as well, because we want everybody doing it. Um, yeah, that's fine. Actually, let's let's not put her and Vinny on repairs. Let's just keep Heretic. Uh, he's got decent skill. Uh, we don't need her growing. Uh, she can definitely mine. That could be a thing. She can definitely cut plants. And... We don't really need her researching either. So if she, if she has nothing else to do, we'll have her research. But um, she could also be a primary hauler once all that stuff is done. So I think that could work for me. That could work. Now, uh, we do have to name her. And I'm going off this uh, list of friends that I have that uh, I asked for their... Um, uh, for their permission to use them as uh, characters. And so the next person that we are going to name here, this person's name is actually, this is good, um, Michael Carlson, but she's a female villager. That's fine. Uh, this is going to be somebody named Tracer. We're going to, we're just going to say Tracer, but uh, with two E's. And we also forgot she's incapable of being artistic. She's psychically deaf, which I think is good just isn't affected by psychic phenomena. So anytime we have like something negative happening, uh, drone wise, she's gonna be fine, but she's pretty. So people uh, are instantly predisposed to like her. And I think, do we have anybody else like that? No, we don't, we don't. And Vinny's probably disappointed because I mean, he's looking for a man to love, but not his brother. So soon. Now let's get on a bed here real quick. Let's get this up and running. Um, I'm gonna have to consider where I'm gonna start expanding here longer term. And I guess we could kind of build back into this, but I still think that this is the ideal place to go. But wait a second, is this? This is actually where that ancient danger was, isn't it? That could be bad, that could backfire on me. That could backfire pretty heavily if we're not careful. So why don't we do this? Why don't we build her a bedroom? For now, we'll just build it out, out behind. And we'll try to kind of mirror what we've done on the inside here. And we can expand out here. We could even build like a long hallway um, with all these bedrooms. We could rearrange the doors later if we need to. That's fine. But I think the most important thing is just get it up and running. We'll put you, we'll give you a lamp in there so you have some lights. Don't say I never did anything nice for you. And if we could get that up before bedtime, that would be fan freaking tastic. Now we could have her set to, um, let's clear this out. Let's say you go to bed at, at midnight actually. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we'll just stagger everything like we have it here. 
except we want this joy time overlapping. Then you go back to work for a bit. Then you can do whatever. And then right before bed, more joy. All right. Welcome to the colony, Tracer. Welcome to the colony, you human computer. Wait, did we not... Uh... Oh, no, we didn't even read the human computer part. Tracer turned out to have an excellent memory and a gift for performing complex calculations in her head. A mid-world dictator decided to employ Tracer to keep track of her state's finances and expenditures um, since electrical computers were too susceptible to hacking. That's really cool. It's really cool. Okay, forbidding doors. You can forbid doors so colonists and tame animals won't go through them. Note that this isn't a door lock. Doors are always locked so enemies can't pass freely. Forbidding just directs your colonists not to use the door. So colonists who are going crazy might use the door anyway. So if we need to like run people through a certain path, um, then we could do so. Construction failed on your own bed. Well, nobody to blame but yourself at this point. There we go. It's a shitty bed, but uh, you know what? It could be worse. Let's go ahead and assign this to Tracer. These are all assigned, right? Vinny, Heretic, Kaleek, beautiful. Very nice, very nice. Now, I wanna set up a production area for stone cutting. And we might as well do this right back here, since it's next to all the chunks. So let's do that. And let's give them a place to sit as well. I like my guys to be happy, you know? I don't want them standing all the time and getting all pissed off at me for being basically a slave driver, you know? We don't want that. All right, so summer has begun, but winter is coming. Your food crops won't grow in the winter cold. Be sure to store several days worth of food now while you can. You can build a walk-in refrigeration room to prevent food from spoiling and try to buy steel or make some parkas or you'll freeze when you step outside. Good advice. So after this, uh, we can actually queue it up to be built uh, right now is, let's see, uh, electric tailoring bench. That works for me. Let's get that going. Let's make sure that we have a roof over all of this stuff here so that they don't catch fire, uh, which they can do. They can definitely do. We're starting to get uh, a lot of food stored, like we have rice, but we certainly want to have more meals now. Um, so instead of cooking till we have 21, let's actually bump this up to like 40. And we may get more people before winter too. It's only the first of summer, so it's going to be a long time. But we should take into account the fact that we're going to need warmer clothes. Um, we're probably going to need to do quite a bit of hunting and all of that kind of stuff, so... Let's see. Still K Leak, but now we should have Tracer going to do handling as soon as he wakes up. He's got much better skill in doing so. And then uh, we could build up. I think you can actually breed animals, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so stone cutting. What we want to do is say, let's make stone blocks. Um, let's do this until we have. Let's see. Let's do like 160 stone blocks. And we could say like, I don't want you running all over the place to do this. Just grab them from like this small area around us. And you can do anything, just whatever you want to do, anything that's available, just turn them into whatever. Um, and that should work for us. Now this is going to be uh, smithing, which of course, of course, are, is this smithing or is this crafting? This includes stone cutting. Okay, so of course, uh, Kaleek is the one that would be best suited to do this. But do these guys at least have decent skills? No. <laughs> she is going to be busy. I'm gonna set her to three for plant cutting. Uh, so she's gonna hunt, construct, craft for now. And I think that should be that should be fine. I'm happy with our defenses. We only the only problem is that we only have one. Um, we only have two weapons, so we kind of have to be concerned about that. You can see inside here it's minus two, minus three degrees, which is not as cool as I was hoping that it would be. Um, maybe it just takes some time. 
But I guess it could be because people are going in and out of there, like, all the time right now. So I'm going to actually drop this down even more. And maybe what we do is we change our stockpile. Let's actually move our stockpile um, out back here for now. And this stockpile, we're going to say uh, only put food in here. Just, just food. Who's on cleaning duty? This place is a mess. Let's say, uh, Vinny, if you have nothing else to do, let's have you, let's have you clean, shall we? So, uh, she should go and drop these things over there. Uh, who's gonna be good at tailoring? Fuck, of course it's Kayleek. The problem is, like, we can't have her doing all this stuff. It's not gonna be efficient, but, like, she's got a passion for it, and she's already got decent skills in it. Um... I don't think tailoring is, like, crucial at the moment. So I'll say, like, if you have nothing else to do, go ahead and do it. Um, let's add a bill. And let's say we want to make parkas for winter. At now, uh, do until we have four parkas for now. That should be fine. We could say the ingredient radius. Um, that's fine. She'll use anything that we can. This is good. Now, um, these meals, how do we have the, the zone set up here? The stockpile zone is normal. So what I want to do up here now is we want to set this to uh, critical for foods. All foods we want moved in there like ASAP so that they don't go bad. And we've got our first raid. Okay, so uh, tell you what, Tracer, you do have a marble club. Jesus. 24%. The oldest human weapon, a shaped stick, heavy at one end for bashing enemies to death. Primitive but effective. Um, versus the plasteel knife. Which is probably not that great. Let's just take a look here. Uh, melee damage of 10 with the plasteel knife. Or we could do... And he's got an armor vest too. This could actually work. Oh, it actually does. The knife does more damage. Really? I guess you kind of have to take into effect the the cooldown as well. So the knife is well, that's probably going to be faster. Oh no, this is the marble club. Eight and three point two four, and then let's look at his ten and one point three. I guess it might even out. No, his is probably doing more damage. Um, which is kind of interesting. Where's the raid? So, a group of pirates from Dragon's Fly Ridge have arrived. They're going to prepare for a while, then attack. Prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. So it's just one guy. And he's got a slate club. Um, he's an experiment test subject. My god. Uh, I'm just looking at his skills here. He's incapable of firefighting or being intellectual. I'm just thinking of, like, do we want to actually get this guy? He is somebody that can shoot and can fight. Uh, but that's about it. Really need somebody else to take over, like, construction duties or, you know, anything. Pretty much anything besides what he's got going on. Uh, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and draft. Um, we probably don't need everybody, you know? Let's just grab the guys with the weapons. So, Vinny and Kaleek. Let's see, where is he? He's way over there. I'll set you guys up to defend here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, Tracer. Can you just prioritize hauling these meals? Get those all inside before they spoil? Because they're spoiling in like one day when we looked at them. Now, a minor break risk, that's not great. How we doing? Where is he? Okay, Lynx is still... He's still gonna find us. They're preparing for a bit, so... Let's haul these in. And we're gonna haul this meal in as well. Come on. Okay, here he comes. Here he comes. Let's see. Vinny and Kaleek. You guys got this. I believe in you. And he is going to have to come across the water, so he's going to be real slow. And to get up close is going to be very tough for him. 
Headshot. He's gonna go down here. Two headshots! He's down. Alright, so, when an enemy is down on the ground but not dead, you can capture them. So, the problem with this right now is the fact that we don't have um, a space set up for, like, a little prison. But, I'll tell you what, we will build one, and he can just hang out for a second. Um, again, we kind of have to decide, like, do we want to treat our prisoners well? We could give them, like, the tiniest cell ever. Um, hmm. I'm thinking up here, this could be, like, our, our uh, medical bay slash... Um, prison prison ward I guess and we'll keep it separate from the rest of the house just in case things get a little bit nutty but uh, let's put beds in each of them whichever gets built first can be our um... she's gonna eat that's fine whichever gets built first can be our prison and then we'll capture this guy uh, he should be fine or she female drifter so, she's got some blood loss. Uh, we can- we can patch all this up. I think she's gonna be fine. She's in shock. She'll be there for a while. How are we doing on the wolf? Alright, still working on it. Heretic loves making these beds. Thank you so much for that, Heretic. You just... You know, the- the work that you put into making these beds is... It's appreciated. But... Like, not really, because they're pretty bad. So I'm gonna have you stop making beds. But it is for a prisoner, so... That's fine. We need the area to be, um... Fully sealed, before we're able to... Uh, make it a prisoner cell. So we have to wait for that. Tracer, you're not gonna like this. But I'm gonna have you finish this cell, if you don't mind. Gonna have to get some wood. Come on. He's failing! Tracer! Thank you. Finish this door, or this wall. Finish this wall. Alright, there we go. Now we can set this for a prisoner. And before you go to bed, I'm gonna have you capture Lynx. Boom. Okay, so look at the prisoner's prisoner tab to see how they'll be treated. You can set whether they'll be recruited, ignored, or executed, whether they eat, and what kind of medical care they get. Colonists with the warden work type will interact with this prisoner. And guess what? Our warden is going to be heretic. He has a new job, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he's also kind of our doctor. Um, so is Tracer, but Tracer's actually kind of interested in it. So we could say that he could do the doctoring, but... Ah, uh, they're both. We'll let them both do it. That's fine. And what else is happening? It's an eclipse, so we're not going to get any energy from our solar generator for the next little while, but good thing we've got three uh, and a half batteries built up. Uh, what else is happening here? Tracer probably wants to go to bed. Understandable. Go ahead. Temperature inside is minus seven now. We have it set to minus 19, but I think it's because I've made a relatively large area. Um, there's nothing weird with the roof or anything, is there? No, roof looks good. Roof looks fine. Alright, there we go. So, uh, this was, I mean, things are going okay, you know? We killed the, we killed the rat. Uh, Vinny is still, he's a little frustrated sexually because there's just an influx of these women... And he's kind of like, you know, he wants to get into it. Um, nobody else is really developing any serious relationships. Oh, look at this. Oh, what are you doing? Kayleek is rebuffed by Vinny. She attempted to create a romance, but I got the cold shoulder. Vinny, give her the memo. Vinny hasn't given her the memo. That's a problem. She's going to continuously try to get into Vinny. No pun intended. And Vinny's just going to be like, mm, not interested. So she's going to constantly have this. She still has no pants, which is kind of bad. Uh, we could probably strip this person of their clothes. And then maybe Kayleek would wear those. Um, the nice thing about having Lynx, though, eventually, is that she's got really low expectations. <laughs> so it's probably easy to keep her happy. 
Um, she's hungry. She's all that stuff. We're going to go ahead and chat and recruit her. Um, having somebody else that can fight is always a good idea, I think. Um, Medicine-wise, let's see. I think she'll be okay once she gets uh, wardened up a little bit here. And, uh, yeah. And then we've got Tracer, who's recently joined us. He's also naked, or she is also naked, I should say. And uh, she's just feeling bad for no apparent reason. Understandable, I guess. You just found a new colony with basically unlimited food. How, how could you possibly be happy? I totally understand that. Anyways, uh, that's going to be another episode of RimWorld, guys. I, I realize I'm probably talking like a mile a minute in these episodes. And when I play RimWorld, I like to just like chill out a little bit. But there's so many things that happen so quickly. And I'm also trying to explain it for people that uh, might not have any idea what RimWorld is. Um, but I also like to share like my thought process around why we're doing the things that we're doing, you know. Um, yeah, so we're going to take a break here. The last thing before I go is I'm just going to designate some more of this for mining. And uh, we'll get all of this steel in there. We've got steel on the outskirts here, so we don't have to go into this, like... What did that say? Like a dark place or whatever? But, uh, yeah. One of, the or one of the moons of this planet has orbited in front of the sun and eclipse has begun. Well, wish me luck, guys. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.